Hello and welcome everyone, I'm CS Gilmore and this is Doom 3 BFG Edition. Well, that was quite the unexpected start up to this episode. I did, didn't think we'd be getting quite that active so quickly. Hey, anyone's just joining and hasn't kept up with things. We just finished. We just got into the sky, the monorail sky bridge, and some weird stuff happened. Well, there access. To Sheesh. 
knock back to or something. Because the attack messed me up. I should save. Considering how active this place is, I don't want to have to repeat it. Okay. That looks bad. Almost certain.
breaking things myself. Probably not helping the situation. Okay, kind of expected that to be a trap. Surprises. Maintenance Department. This video will provide you with the necessary tools and information to do your job efficiently and safely. A safe worker is a happy worker, and your safety is our number one priority at UAC. Observe all signs and follow all procedures to keep you and your co-workers out of harm's way. Cleanup is one of the most important aspects of what we do in maintenance. This phase of our job keeps everyone safe. And research has shown that working in a clean and toxic-free environment has a positive benefit on overall productivity. Power generation on Mars produces two byproducts, steam and green goo. We vent green. the steam all over the base through vents, floor grates, cleverly placed pipes, and pretty much any place else. The goo is a result of the MFS process reacting with core elements in the Martian soil. It is not radioactive, but it is quite toxic. Remove all toxic spills at once. Hazmat suits are the best way to protect yourself when a spill occurs. And if you happen to come in contact with the goo, report immediately to a medical station for a scrub down. After a few days in confinement, you should be ready to report back to work. Report any rule violations to your immediate supervisor. And don't forget to read your employee handbook for additional rules and information. So the green goo is toxic. You have to go into confinement for a few days if you touch it. Suggesting there's more to it than just toxicity, I'm guessing. Okay. This is the audio log of Nicola Sedgway, member of UAC Mars Hazmat Response Team, dated October 1st, 2145. We have concluded that the Martian atmosphere is wreaking havoc on the exhaust valve seals in the standard number 5 disposal grams. The engineers cannot explain the high level of contaminants in our internal atmosphere. The air scrubbers and filtration systems all seem to be operating at normal levels, yet a small layer of particulate is making it into the storage areas. That is what caused the lockdown yesterday. EAP Director Charles Hollis informs me that the personnel won't be harmed by these contaminants in the air, but we've seen that they do cause a corrosive reaction when introduced to the rubber compounds used in the storage systems. Effective immediately, all number five disposal drums must be locked away in at least a class two rated transport medium. Assessment ends. All right, uh, guess I go up. Anything else here? I'm guessing I'm gonna end up over on that side. Oh, that's 
stuff. Alert filter, rupture detected, rupture primary filtration, execute emergency shutdown. Pump station shut down. Filling pipes one through twelve. Okay, that sounds important, and I think I'll get rid of that toxic goo. Hopefully, that was clogging up my path. Oh, okay, so that's why that was there. This is not getting well. I, f I just feel the itch of something's about to go wrong. Her like that. Yeah. All right, that cleared up fast. Must have a really good drain system. Man, I'm just getting jump scared all over the place today. Don't know why. guys. I really expected this to open, but I guess that's the point. They were luring me into a, making a bad assumption. I think this is a good spot to end this episode. Next time we will go play in the nice spider tunnel. Yeah, I think that'll work. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.